good, man. So there's the sunset out there. You can kind of see the beach, mountain range. Just to me, I need a woman laying down. But we're driving into this yonder. And boy. Superpowers are doing stupor powers like this stupor power using this shit to manipulate weather. They're playing tag. They flooding China and giving them snow and they burning us up. Taking this moisture and what? Yeah. Hottest place on earth the other day was California. Baja. Stop. 
up and pick it. Street philosophy, uh, and that uh, pretty much brings us current. Um, I put out the uh, if you follow my Instagram, I put out the latest evacuation area for that Potter's Fire. If you're anywhere uh, near Orville or Cherokee, um, Cherokee, uh, look out! Look out! Be ready to go. Um, 8.45 here on our Doomsday Clock, FM 90.1 KZFR Chico, listener-supported community radio for the Sacramento Valley, the foothills, and beyond. And we've got KZFR.org. Potter's Fire. Because you're going to check what song we're playing and all of that. 
fire and, uh, the destruction is made yeah. possible by the generous contributions of KZFR supporters. We really do appreciate y'all. And by Chico Hearing Aid Center, celebrating over 70 years of changing lives through better hearing. Chico Hearing Aid Center is committed to serving the community with any hearing issues. They schedule a, an initial hearing evaluation. <laughs> Chico Hearing Aid Center's phone number is 342-8132. And if there's ever an appropriate uh, sponsor for, for this program, it's going to be the hearing aid people because, yeah, some of our ears, including mine, are, are, are pretty well shot. Check out hearing Chico Hearing Aid Center if you need help with that. Uh, thanks also to Live Life Juice Company, providing fresh locally made radio. organic cold pressed juices and elixirs. Plus, stated there's vegan a fire and in Oregon, food, which is food. over by our Now open Monday through Saturday at their new location fire in Maryland Park. Green. The downtown Chico there's location at 220 Broadway is open for day. Grass Valley area Delivery this and morning. curbside takeout are available. More you heard me say to Grandma. Well, uh, slow this motherfucker down. He seems all these weird shit, yo. You know what time it is. The areas are coming in. Big thanks for all your messages and requests. And I will get to them. 895 is the number. I try to figure out walkie talkie systems and abilities and what's the right perfect channels to use and so forth. So you know what's going on with these fires and everything around us. <laughs> Just about to get to Collins Lake turn off. That's why the sunset looks so horrible. You're gonna burn us up, kids. We gotta get everything together. And get fire breaks, water breaks, other things like that. Dig in and trench in. Do in the ground housing and other things like that. Start using the other weapons. Man, we're gonna have to probably sleep with our respirators. That's why the sky is so black. Cause if it's like this, this low, we got another fucking 25, 2800 feet of Because of the uh, wind and so forth, uh, if we want to go for a ride, I'm going to drive down and see where this fire is, see if we can see it, before we take off to Nevada and get our first trailer. Trailer!
7,000. I still haven't got the force sound on the road from the bottom gate, about three minutes out. It's pretty smoky looking. Yeah, Spirit's telling me to see where this fire is when we go to Nevada and get the trailer. It's heavy in the air, it's making my lungs hurt. Always keep your respirators, air scrubbers and cleaners, electrostatics, devices that we leave to you guys. Clean the air and the plants and so forth. Work with them to help you in the lineage. After work on them to help you as well. Some stuff is just beginning. smoke's coming from. Forbeson has electricity. Yuba City didn't have electricity. They did like a rolling blackout. But no smoke smell right now after passing about 45 seconds after Forbeson's store. But driving up to it, it burning our eyes. He said pots and Cherokee. Robinson. 
some milk. Oh, it's over there. That's what that glow is right there. That's where we thought. Stop at a store in a mall. It's not gonna be open in the morning. We got information on that fire. So they said pots and Cherokee.
get that on the draw. Maybe it's a little bit lower from the fire station. Not too smoky. That's irritating. There's no propane tonight. It's hot. Filling our tank still from a propane bottle that fell off a dude's truck from a couple years back. <laughs> Don't boil over there and. What you doing? Oh, Super windy down below. Sun's coming up. I'm gonna get the trailer. Finish working on the road. Get where only water is all you need, kids. And secure your water source. Basically, if you take Jones Bar Road over to Highway 49 along Newtown to the South Yuba River, that's basically that chunk right in there. Yeah. You say, Steve? Yeah. yeah. Just in visualize it for people. That's okay. crazy. But All again, right. it's north of Newtown Road, west of Highway 49, south of the South Yuba, and east of Jones Bar. Okay. So that's that's the objectives for the day. Now, overnight, according to uh, uh, you've been the firefighters made good progress securing the heel of the fire. A stopover near the fire's point of origin remained within a dozer line, the dozer line. Today, active weather with the prolonged excessive heat wave will continue. There's a chance of scattered thunderstorms with dry lightning once again. And, and I know you've already mentioned this part of it before. School closures today include the Nevada Union Joint High School District, Penn Valley, Nevada City, Grass Valley, Bitney Prep, Sierra Academy of, Ex of Expeditionary Learning, the Nevada City School of the Arts, and Union Hill School. And also uh, uh, a woman named Polly Abrams called and said that the Spirit Peer Empowerment Center will be closed. No okay. Well, we got that by the phone. And uh, there was a, an update from Sierra to my, Nevada Memorial Hospital basically just saying uh, the, the Dignity Health and Sierra Nevada uh, can confirm with, that they received an evacuation advisory yesterday afternoon uh, due to the Jones fire. The care and safety of our patients and employees is our top priority. We are working closely with the County Office of the Emergency Services and other public service agencies to ensure we're ready to evacuate in a safe and organized manner. 
uh, if they are required to do so. We're fully prepared and equipped to comply with orders without compromising Fire from the yesterday. Of patients and employees started will share more information as it becomes available. Okay. And, uh, and I think you probably already covered this. Uh, at, at the briefing last night, um, Cal Fire Division Chief Jim Mathias uh, laying out the events of the day. The fire, which was around 20 acres um, yesterday morning, is now estimated at 340 acres. Damn. And that was again last night. Uh, map will be available tomorrow morning. So the night firefighters will continue to construct hand lines, provide structure protection, and five dozers will continue to build containment lines. Weather should be warm overnight with a slight chance of thunderstorms. I don't think we had any that I, at least that I, that I right. heard. Um, and uh, uh, the, according to the Vatican Sheriff's Office, 4,000 people are under mandatory evacuation and another 12,000 are under an evacuation advisory. So that's a total of 16,000 people that are possibly uh, in the evacuation mode. Um, the 4,000 uh, people under mandatory evacuations should have evacuated by now, if not much sooner, probably last night. And the other 12,000, know, some of them probably have left uh, as well, uh, just to get a, a start on things. Um, but uh, anyway, that's the situation. Highway 49 will remain closed throughout the day tomorrow to facilitate firefighters and equipment access. Uh, Newtown Road will also remain closed. And, uh, and I believe that Highway 49, that would be Highway 49 in the uh, in its area off of the freeway, I would say. Yeah, yeah, the, the Highway 49 between, um, oh, let's just say Newtown Road and, and, uh, and North San Juan. Yeah, that's basically yeah, it. Like yesterday, it was closed yeah. between Newtown and I believe Tyler Foot Crossing. Yeah. And, uh, and I wouldn't doubt that would be, might, might be the same today. Yeah. And we'll see if uh, Pascal has any uh, any update on that when we talk with her after the briefing, uh, a little after 8 o'clock this morning. And uh, uh, the uh, Nevada County and the Sheriff's Office and their partner agencies will patrol the evacuation areas overnight. 50 officers were assigned to patrol to check roads, uh, closures, and evacuation zones. Uh, temporary evacuation locations, I know you probably run over this already. I get that too. Go ahead, Stone. Uh, Ready Springs School, that's on Spencer Road in Penny Valley. Uh, Cottage Hill Elementary School on Kingston Lane. Yeah, that's right there right. like a dot. Um, and I, I believe that's outside of the city, the city limits. Um, and Alder Creek Middle School in Truckee is also a, a, a temporary evacuation location. And uh, uh, but I think that should do you give us enough information for right now. Like I said, uh, within about 20 minutes from now, we expect to be talking with Pascal. He's at a briefing right now and should have uh, uh, plenty of uh, new information for us. I think the important thing is that containment area that they're talking about. Yeah. Um, that's their battle lines, so to speak. 20 yeah. acres in the 300. Yeah, Don't let it blow up to a couple square miles like the fucking shooting in LA. You know, if you know that it's almost 40 miles square. country here. Um, that you know what, what they're trying to do. So um, okay, Steve. Then um, is, is that it for right now? Uh, okay, no, no, okay. No, we'll be there. Like I'm sure we'll be talking to Pascal um, after this briefing, and uh, she thinks she should be available uh, probably around eight or four in the morning. Okay, right after the NPR news headline. All right. Okay, so got one more one more Ray Charles song for you, and it's uh, mm, kind of an ironically. Uh, appropriate song for the moment, but well, in a way, but uh, we'll take like this. Ray Charles singing, Ring of Fire.
Jeopardy with more TV news. Just a minute. Better traffic news now. Joe McConnell says things are improving in the local. Crash just cleared North 101 North Park Road. There's almost an hour of life in the lane. It cleared a couple of minutes ago, so it's still backed up. Back to almost the end. Valley. I'm going to go to the just past the University of Haiti and up to just about North Road. It's better. If you're traveling 17, stop by to run Berkeley to State. Still have some debris in the lanes. 80 westbound, still slow coming out of West Sacramento for Davis because of the earlier salt deeper and the yellow cause where the time is clear, but that means it. How about it? How about it? Joe McCullough from Bay City. Joe's traffic support comes from European Sleep Works, and support for KQED comes from Genentech. Porter says people may be facing many challenges during these difficult times. Supporting their prescribed Genentech medicines should not be one of them. Learn more at Genentech. Partly cloudy, warm to hot. Bay Area today, coastal high 60s, 80s, in the 90s, inland, and up to 105. Good morning, the time now is 8 Some Berkeley high school students have returned to school this week online. Lot of this time, our school gets a leader to pass a resolution supporting the Black Lives Matter movement for some specifics and promising to order the update. The CDC will not avoid by more on what the students are City is 62 miles down below us. Sadly, it's 14 in front. What can I do for you? Can I get $20 in gas, please? Sure, of course. Are you parked in front of us? Yes. Okay, regular. The code is regular. I didn't say virus, it's siren. Oh, siren. Yeah, it's over here. One cup of coffee? Juice past the 6,000 foot mark. Yeah. We should have let that 5 o'clock go in the way. Well, I wanted to go the scenic way. We ain't making it there at 10 o'clock to meet them people. <laughs> All in design. Everything works out always. We got a message of when we got a signal. Hope this stuff is still here for y'all to see it. Yeah. Beautiful up here. Bella got her sweater on. It's not really cold. Oh, really? The windows up. And then, you know, hot springs. Yeah, it's crazy how you get in high the climate. Some reality here. Taking two days away from work. Getting back to the property and doing a road. Be the 
trailblazer, bud. Trailblazer. Person that first walk this shit. City to city. Ten post to ten posts. Poop hole to poop hole as it started. Yeah. Driving this shit like you fucking know it, like the back of your forehead. There's a red and black marker right there. Makes you wonder. Drift cut. I'm looking at shit up with damn things in there. I mean, somebody in our life that knows what those are. Set up a fucking... Somebody that works for the Alarm system so that I can fucking grab them people when they're doing that shit. Hey, what does that mean? All they do is harvest the inside where the fucking sediment comes. Just like in Tahoe. It's like we gotta do this side. We gotta skim that gold. Skim that gold. It comes down the creeks. Dummies don't realize it. Oh, whoa. You didn't see that. Yeah, I see it. Vista Point. Whoa, dude, he's white. Yeah. There's a... Looks like a cold compression cloud over there, like you see over Mount Shasta. Beautiful red sequoias. Could be a nice shield of bomb on on a bike. Full suspension, hydraulic, disc brake, and a motor. Futures. Why I was like, why I hit? I wore what I wore for Halloween that year. I came back. And took Kayla trick or treating. She dressed up like Marilyn Monroe. In a quarter mile, turn left onto West Side Road. See the shadow within the clouds from the fake clouds that they use? Sadly. Sadly. Take the next left onto West Side Road. Center for the people. 